today we are going to do the vacuum chamber so let me show you what we will need we will need a bowl that I bought it for 2 euros glass bowl that is thick we will need a piece of wood that it is thick this is 2.8 centimeters I bought it for 10 euros we will need the vacuum cage I bought it for 5 euros with the stuff to put the cable on it we need the valve for release with this stuff as well we need this stuff to seal it I got 3 meters of this cable all this the seal the cage and this stuff all together cost me 20 euros we need the silicone that cost me 2 euros and last but not least we need the vacuum pump that cost me 120 euros so we also will need together with the silicone we will use the silicone uh, food color and this corn uh, stuff to make the seal so let's try to start and make everything from tools we will need a knife lighter I don't know how this is called this one to cut as well this two a meter this drill and the plastic bowl so let's start our base it will be the wood we will put the air from the vacuum with holes inside the wood so first we measure how thick it is our this stuff and we take a drill in the same size this one is nine millimeters and first we want to see how deep it will go the drill so if we put this here we can see that the maximum that our drill can be is here so I'm going to put a dot here because this is the maximum that we can go deep next we are going to take our meter this is 30 centimeters so the middle is here 15 let's make it here one more dot nice let's put the line here and here we will make three holes one will be here one will be here and one will be here so what do we want to do next is take our bowl and we want the third hole that we are going to bunch to be inside the bowl but not in the middle we want them to be in the end so this is perfect now we are going to to draw a line of our bowl the 
that's perfect. And now we are ready to start making the holes with our drill. So let's start. Nice. Let's clean this first. Let's make on the third one. Let's see where our drill is going. It's going a little bit off the mark, so So let's clean everything again and put our holes ready. So okay and okay. Let's get our silicone. So now we are going to put some silicone. So let's put it here. Let's put in some extra silicone here. We have added our silicone. Let's add some extra. Okay, this one looks looks good.
Okay, so let's let it for about a couple of hours for the silicone to be hard.